So we are going to solve problem 4.12 from study kubuk and the question is determine V0 in this circuit using superposition. Okay, so now let's review the superposition. Oh. So we analyze uh, for each current or voltage source and while we analyze for one current one current or voltage source another another source must be turned off okay of other sources Okay, and turning off other sources means that for voltage source, we replace it with short circuit. And then for current source, we replace it with... So we will have three circuit here. So first we will analyze only with this 12 volt voltage source turn on and then we will analyze with this 19 volt voltage source turn on and we will analyze with only this 2 ampere current source so we will have three different circuit so here is the circuit uh, we have three circuit here we have this one is only the 12 volt voltage source turn on while this current source is turn off as you see here we replace it with circuit and this one 19 volt it's replaced with short circuit so we have three circuit here first one second one and the third one and we need to analyze one by one so v0 for this circuit v0 for this circuit and this circuit okay let's now analyze one by one so let's start by analyzing the first circuit so here is our circuit here and V0 is here I think I will use nodal analysis because why because we only have two nodes if we use nodal analysis we will have three loops so I don't want to get much attention. and I will pick this node here as our okay let's see at node A then let's assume where the current goes okay i'm assuming this is this this is arbitrary you can assume how where okay at node a we have this current going in so kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the Okay, this current is goes in, so I will have this node minus this node divided by 6 ohm. But this node is 12 volt, right? So I will have 12 minus A divided by 6. And all the other currents is going out, so I will have the sign. And then for this current, it is Va minus 0, which is A, divided by the resistance between them, which is 3. And then this current is going out from node A, so I will have plus Va minus Vb, it. Okay, now what can we do from here? Maybe we multiply both sides by 30, right? T, so I will have multiplied by 5, so T, 5 VA will equal to this one will be 10 VA this one will be 6 
Okay, now let's do some algebraic manipulation. So I will have e equal to 21 pa fixed. And I think we can simplify this by dividing it three. So I will have 20 equal to 7 pa minus okay let's save this as equation okay now let's move on to not b because we cannot do this add not b okay what can we do here again using get l the current that goes in equal to the current that out and the only current that goes in is this current here so i will have p a e b five and then all the other currents out so well f e b divided by 12 this one in b Okay. Now, what can we do from? We can multiply this by this. This good. Elf. Elf. E. This one. I feel. Plus fifteen. Okay, now some algebraic and again. Yeah. Twelve will be thirty. We can divide by four. Okay. Four a minus eight feet, and this is cool. So what can we do from here? Is solve this equation of one and. Let's maybe multiply this equation one or and I will so have this one I will have the eight feet minus eight and then we'll equal And this one, PA minus 8 VB to equal. And we can subtract sides, right? We'll have 25 PA equal to 80. So we'll have VA is E divided by. Uh, Let's divide this by 5, so I will have 5 in. So I will have, this will be 3, 3.2 okay. And if VA is 3.24, we can find out VP. So let's plug this into but okay equation number two maybe i'll have three multiplied by 3.2 minus 8 pb so i will have pb is equal 8 pb is equal to 
multiplied by p. Two. So I will have. So I will have p b equal to three multiplied by point two. We can cancel this to 0.4 and we will have PB is 1, 2. But we are not looking for PB, right? We are looking for V0. Okay, V0, what is V0? So V0 is just the difference between P. So I will have PA minus. Okay, so I will have P0 equal to 3.2 volt minus 1.2 and we will conclude that P0 is 2 and this is for the first circuit it's still a long way to go because we have two more nice. so let's name this P0 prime because it's different second end okay let's analyze the second it and yeah I think I will use similar techniques here and this as a and not B and we will assume the direct run okay, and I will pick the Okay, now let's do at not A and A. Okay. Yeah, again the sum of the current that goes in equal to the sum out. Only current that goes in is here, this one. And that comes from the ground. We'll have zero minus PA divided by six and all other currents in out so that will equal pa over 3 plus pa minus vb here multiply by 30 or so from here I will have what minus five a and ten a. This one will be six a. Okay, let's do some simple. And here we will have twenty one p a six p b is equal or in VA is 2 VB and this is equation of circuit see have not okay at not B we will use KCL again so I have sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum out and the only current that goes in is this one and that is VA minus VB it by 5 and on the right hand side I will have 1 VB over 12 plus VB minus If I did, you'll see. Yeah, this is need to multiply this. I will have twelve a twelve b equal to five b plus will be 
15 okay and i will just let that as 15 multi because i don't want to mess then can we do from here I can move this minus 9 in multiple in to the left hand side so I will have in and we move that 12VA to the right hand side we'll move all the VV to the right so this one plus 12 32 we cannot simply okay. but can substitute the equation one in right so I will have look at this we we'll have 7 pa minus 2 vb or 2 vb equal to ta right so what can we do here is we will manipulate this a bit minus 20 okay remember that 32 is just 16 multiplied what is 2 vb 2 vb is so okay let's continue here 15 multiplied by 18 that will equal to minus 12 VA plus 16 multiplied by 16. Uh, and then what can we do from here On the left hand side we add 16 multiplied by 7 2 plus 70 that is 1 or in in okay. and from here we'll have a is two in I think I will need some A In. Oh, okay. Uh, and this difference. Let's so five. Two point. Okay. Now we have V A here. So from here we can calculate V B, which is seven divided by two. That will. We can just plot v here. So v seven divided by two is three point five. We multiply it by v a. Let's just use cal. Three point five. Okay, I will have 9.975. Okay. And so I will have V0, which is the difference between VA and we can just remember. Nine 
is what? A second. And this is V0 from RK. Name this as V double. Okay. So we now have V0 prime from this circuit. We have V0 double prime from this circuit. And the last one we need to do is from this. Yes, again, I will use. So oh, now like this and this one A and B e, and we will assume the direction. This I always do like this. But this one is gotten, so I will Okay, let's see at not A. At not A. will have the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current out okay the current that goes in will be 0 minus a I mean so minus v a divided by 6 plus this current is going in so I'll have 2 and the other currents is going out so I will have equal sign and then PA divided P and then this one PA PB divided by 5 okay here and multiply this by PID is enough Okay, now from this one, I will have minus 5 VA plus 60. That will equal to... No. That should be 10. I have a 10 VA. And plus 6 VA minus... Okay, now maybe let's move this one to the right hand side. So we'll have 60 equal to twenty one PA minus six. Okay, we can divide sides by three. We'll have 20 is equal to PA Okay, let's save this as equation Now let's do not B B Okay, what can we do from here at not B Again, we will use case sum of and then in will do the sum and then out and then let's see the only current that goes in is this one so we'll have a minus pb I did by 5 and the current that goes out this one so 2 this one will equal 12 and that one to be and yeah, 30 and let's see I will have 12 PA minus 12 PB that will equal to 120 one will be 5 pb 
plus 15. Right? Okay, so we are moving all of this to the left hand side. So we have 12 VA minus 32 B. Uh, if I is we doing B, okay, we divide both sides by four, right? Eight. Then that we one hundred four is save this as equation two. And to do some elimination, I think I will use one okay. F A minus D e equal to two D. E. And then this one I will have three D V A minus and yeah oh, in this one should all right if we apply all this four we'll get 28 8 will be right I just can select all of this and I will have 25 PA equal to 50 oh which is a nice number so I will have PA equal to okay when PA is twofold we can easily calculate B maybe just plug it in one so I will have one multiply two minus two PB that should equal P. I will have in P e, e, minus two VB equal eight, or VB is equal to and we are asked about V0. V0 is just the different speed. Let's plug A V A is 2. B V B. So I will have 2 minus my B. And I just want to name this V0 people time. So we have three V0 from each circuit. So we have V0 prime from this circuit. We have V0 double prime from this circuit. Then we have V0 triple prime from this circuit. And we need to do wrapping up. So V0 in the initial circuit will be the sum of each so i will have v0 prime plus v0 double prime plus v0 triple prime v0 prime is from the first circuit and that is two okay, so let's write it as two v0 double prime is from the second circuit we'll have minus seven point five from here we have minus seven five. Uh, then plus V zero triple prime. We have V zero triple prime here, which is four. Well. And so we can calculate all of them so i'll have 2 plus 5 is 7 7.1 7 
five or that will be minus zero point one five in four other word v zero is we can convert this into millivolt so we have minus 125 millivolt and this is the answer of the question hopefully i did not make text let me know in the comment i did and watching bye bye